Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader. I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for June 8, 2016. If you are in Central Europe, you'll be waking up to a moon that's void, of course, in Cancer. Not a good morning to start things. It will be in, in your nighttime America, so don't worry about that because by the time you wake up, it will be a moon in Leo. So the moon is moving into Leo at about 900 hours Central European time. Again, that's uh, a little after midnight Eastern Standard Time. And today it will be squaring Juno and Lilith. Again, bringing up to the table subjects of long-term relationships or commitments in our lives. And not positive or unconscious um, behavioral patterns that we might have in these places in our lives. Now, of course, it touches first and foremost our primary relationship, our love relationship, if we have one. But it can also touch places in which we are very committed to other people in our lives, whether it's business partnerships or just deep friendships or people that we have a project, a mutual project with. So all of these places can go through necessary changes in a sense for their betterment for their strengthening in, their in the future. And this is a very good day to put things up on the table, to discuss them and to change them and to heal them. Because Mercury, a sextile in Chiron, we can communicate empathically and, and be sensitive about other people's feelings in our lives. And that's a good thing. And Venus is sextile in Ceres, talking about the, the aspects of nurturing that we can give and receive to others in our lives today. Mars that is still in retro moving to Scorpio talking about some of our unconscious behavioral patterns our more basic chakra needs that come and stir up during these days in our lives and it would be trining Chiron talking about us getting under, understanding again, getting reminded which behavioral patterns are good for us and which are not. Where are the places that we're doing things to ourselves in our lives that are not really positive in the long run and gain a better understanding of why we're doing it to ourselves. Again, this understanding too can come through other people in our lives that are close to us as well. The grand mutable square is still up there, still creating its havoc. So I'm happy that you're boldly surfing through it and may the force be with you. Thank you for listening and have a very positive day. Goodbye.